Gilbert Rivera. I'm a one of the clinical instructors here in the medical laboratory technician program at Anderson College. I'm also a graduate of this uh, institution way back 2017. So after that, I challenged uh, the exam, both from the provincial and the federal exams given by CSMLS and MLPAO. I both passed it, and after that, I applied for a job in one of the leading uh, private labs here in uh, Ontario. And I was hired, and after that, I was also uh, hired in a laboratory in a hospital here. So um, this field has given me the chance to do a lot of things that I love, interacting with people at the same time doing jobs at, behind the scenes. So the medical laboratory technician program is about more on pre-analytical phase of the laboratory. As you know, um, when we process the specimen, we have three phases, the pre-analytical, the analytical, and the post-analytical. So the pre-analytical phase uh, focuses more on procurement of blood, uh, collection of blood, uh, basically. Also processing specimens like urine, uh, stool, and other specimens for microbiology. So the job of a medical, te uh, medical technician is to process all of this and then uh, submit it for processing, which is analysis. So we are at the first line in uh, this thesis. So we are uh, the ones who are received the specimens and prepared them for processing. Students in this program are expected to learn different competencies, which are a framework or a guideline for us to uh, teach the students here. Basically, like uh, those competencies would cover like uh, proper blood collection, processing of urine, processing of stool specimens, also um, uh, doing ECGs. So those are examples of the things that you will be doing uh, when you are under uh, training here. So most of the students are afraid of uh, taking blood. So that's one of the things that they get anxious about. So, but in time, uh, in practice, you'll get good at it and your anxiety lessens. So I think that what, that's what the mo uh, one of the most uh, uh, common um, uh, fears that I hear from students. So the part of the program and the practical training that students enjoy most is usually the lab where they can get their uh, hands-on experience. Uh, also, they enjoy doing ECGs on their, on their colleagues and their classmates, as well as doing some, although they a little bit anxious, but they enjoy, you know, um, blood collection as well. So those are one of, the, of those things that they enjoy in the, in the program. So there are no, uh, basically, um, no requirement if you have no experience in healthcare before, that's fine you can still uh, go through the program. Of course, it would be helpful if you have past experience working in the field, but there are a lot of uh, students here who don't have me uh, medical uh, exposure before, who did fine in the program eventually. So we train them here, and once they're out there in the field, they're doing just great. So it doesn't really matter if you don't have any um, healthcare experience before. So usually students have to complete a practicum. Um, the school has a tie-up with different labs here in Ontario and also clinics. And uh, we usually send them through the, um, to these clinics and laboratories to do their practicum. So they have to complete it depending on their program and arrangement as well. So uh, the benefit of that is you know, these uh, placements, uh, these clinical sites are prospective or uh, 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 employers. So they get to know the system there and they also get to know the people there. So that would make uh, recommendations when they apply for a job there. So those are the advantages of having a uh, 
clinical placement uh, on these sites where also uh, it would be a prospective uh, employer. So the school, when the student starts here, the students are prepared to, are prepared to take on the CSMLS M and MLPAO exam certifications. So it's really important that they pass those exams. Some of the hospitals here and as well as the private labs, they would prefer to have the students uh, pass both exams. So the school, uh, since day one, are preparing, are preparing the students towards that goal. In addition, of course, to the uh, hands-on experience that they will have here. So we are preparing them for uh, their certification exam as well as the simulation lab that we have here for hands-on experience. So my advice for future students, um, this is a good field. Um, job prospects right now is high. So my advice for you is to you know, explore the program here at Anderson, study well, ask questions. It's okay to make mistakes here at school. So once you're out there, your mistakes are, you know, uh, you have a limited number of mistakes. So uh, just study well and ask the proper questions and don't be afraid to, to make a mistake while at school.